This is one of our more complicated rearrangements. We have got to make the letter X the subject, which we have mentioned twice in this setup. If we remove the fraction, first of all, by placing that denominator onto the other side, that becomes a multiplication. So y times x squared plus 3 is the same as x squared plus 1. That's removing the denominator onto the other side. Secondly, remove the brackets. So y times x squared plus 3 times y, y times x squared plus y times 3 should equal x squared plus 1. Next stage is to isolate the x values. So that x value needs to be over here to join that x value. So y x squared. Move this one across becomes take x squared. That means that I have 1 on this side. And I'm going to move the 3y over here because it has no mention of the letter x. So 3y becomes a take 3y. So here I have isolated the letter x. It's all over here. I do that for this reason. I can factorise the left hand side. x squared times y, x squared times y, minus, so minus, x squared times 1, x squared. That means that x squared will equal 1 minus 3y, and if I now put this bracket back over here, it becomes a divide. I am doing the reverse process of what I started with. So bracket becomes divide by bracket. Finally, x squared, I want to write as x, and the opposite of squaring a number, square root. So I square root the expression that I have on my side.